Hi, this is Jacob with MarketingPlaybook.co, and in this video we're going to be covering review extensions. To add in the review extension, I recommend you actually go down to your campaign, and on the campaign level, you select the campaign you want, and then go over to the Add Extensions in the drop-down menu over here. Go ahead and select Review Extensions. If you have already extensions added in to that campaign, they'll be listed here, and you can just cl simply click the Over button. Otherwise, you're going to go ahead and hit the Plus Extensions. And this is where they'd be listed if you had them. They are not listed, so we're going to go ahead and put in a new uh, review extension. Now, a quick format here for you. You have paraphrase and exact quotes. Now, they have the paraphrase because you can only have 67 characters in the text. So you can take somebody's quote, and it, I recommend if it's a short one, you put it in exactly as they have it. If you have to paraphrase, go ahead. But do note, it has to mean the exact same thing. So if somebody were to say something like, this is the best dog food ever, I love it, you know, you could shorten that down so it fits within here and say best dog food ever, and then go ahead and list the, the source right here. Now for the source, is what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure that it is compliant. And under here, you're going to see the more about reviews and then the review extension policies. And I would recommend that you go ahead and take a look at the, the policies themselves so you're familiar with exactly what's allowed and what's not allowed. So, for instance, you can't do uh, paid endorsements in here. You're not going to be able to do um, aggregated reviews or reviews from press releases. You can't do uh, secondhand reporting websites that are not family safe and, and things along those lines. So, you know, the best place for a source is going to be an individual or a public website who's had a review posted for over a year. Now, even if that review isn't, hasn't been posted for over a, or a year, it still can be listed in here. However, it may not get approved. And just, just note that. And I've done this for, for multiple businesses and uh, multiple times they push back on me saying, no, not that one or edit this or edit that. So this does go under a manual review and they, they do scrutinize it quite a bit. So for the sources, what you're going to do is you're actually going to be putting in the business name right here. So they have a pretty good example in this text. Let me see if I can't zoom in on it. So this is from bestreviewsmagazine.com. And on there they say, for example, a reviewer, a best review magazine. So they list the, the actual website name right there. And instead of mingling it all together, they sp space it out so it's actually readable. Now is what this is going to do is it's going to put a link on in your in your ad copy it's going to have the reviews listed there and it'll just be this text showing and then it'll say buy and it'll list the source and the the link that that you put in here I shouldn't say the link but the business name or whoever it was that put in here is going to be clickable by the source URL now if somebody clicks on that URL you are not charged, which is really, really cool. So this is a way definitely to add credibility uh, to your business. Now, lastly, uh, to, to kind of drive the point home here, you cannot use customer testimonials here. So this is actually third-party review, so independent review sites. And, and so if there's a dental website out there who, because I'm doing it uh, on my ad copy on Denver Dental, if there are a dental directory with the user review there, then that would be acceptable for you. So you want those third-party independent reviews coming in and, and reviewing you. So, so I recommend that do line these up. Now, like I said, they do want them to be over a year old, and they do that to kind of prohibit anybody from just, just kind of stuffing this and putting in fake reviews. Uh, that's why they don't allow uh, testimonials from your own website. And that's why they do not allow uh, customer testimonials is because they don't want you just making it up and posting it somewhere online. However, I have gotten away with putting in awards here. So for like a car dealership, they, they've won a reward for customer service and it was, you know, best customer service 2015. So, you know, best customer service 2015 source was the automaker place. So it can be done in, in that manner. Just expect that the review may get shut down on you. So if it's not accepted, it's not accepted. It usually takes 24 hours or so before you know whether it's approved or not. If it's approved, fantastic. The review will start showing in your ad shortly after that. If it's not accepted, you just go back in. They'll kind of tell you why it's not accepted. And you just got to change it around, either get a new source or find out what you're doing wrong. But this is a uh, pretty beneficial to do. And it just, just, you know, it's there to create social proof 
for you. So, you know, the source that you list, other people should already know about that source. So listing uh, accredited businesses is the, is the absolute best way of, of having it in there. That way customers will, will relate to whatever it is that, that source is, that brand is, and associate it with you. So that's how you're going to get the absolute most out of using the review extension. And once it's in there, you can go ahead and save it. They do have the, the start and end date and scheduling. I don't recommend you mess with this at all unless it's a limited time review that's only going to be up for extended period of time. There's no point in, in scheduling the, the review. So go ahead and hit the save button. It'll go into a review queue and hopefully within 24 hours it'll get approved for you.